What's going on everybody and welcome to Rock and Roll True Stories and don't forget to hit the bell notification icon to be notified every time I put out a new video on my channel. And this story was a fan request and today I want to talk about the REM song Shiny Happy People from the band's monumental 1991 record Out of Time. The song would be the only top 10 hit for the band in both the UK and the US. The song is also notable because Kay Pearson of the B-52s provides guest vocals but more interesting is that R.E.M. singer Michael Stipe isn't a fan of the song and neither are a lot of the band's longtime fans. Why is that? Stay tuned to find out. The song was released as the second single from Out of Time and it struck a much lighter tone than the first single, which was Losing My Religion. The band found inspiration in a rather strange place, as the lyrics for the song were influenced by a Chinese government propaganda poster used after the 1989 Tiananmen Square Massacre. The Chinese poster would read, Shiny Happy People Holding Hands. The song was originally to be used for the unaired pilot for the NBC sitcom Friends, which was previously called Friends Like Us. As we all know, it was eventually replaced by the Rembrandt song, I'll Be There For You. However, it did make an appearance in the 10th episode of the first season titled The One With The Monkey. Frontman Michael Stipe would reveal that the band turned down Warner Brothers, who owned the rights to the show. So the studio instead approached the Rembrandts and asked the band, can you write an R.E.M. song? Out of Time would be released around the time of the Gulf War, and it was put out almost half a year before grunge broke big. And even though many of the grunge bands, including Nirvana and Pearl Jam, idolized R.E.M., Shiny Happy People became a hit using a different formula. Many of the rock songs that were topping the charts back in those days were about much darker subject matter including drugs, abuse, violence, death and more, but R.E.M. took a different approach talking about unity and love. It was a stark contrast to songs like Jeremy and Come As You Are. In fact, the album Out of Time was a departure for the band's sound, with Michael Stipe telling the Sun newspaper, Many artists, some of whom I admire a great deal, find a sound and an attitude and they repeat it for their entire careers. Others who I admire, like Neil Young, do the opposite. That was us. We didn't want to write the same song over and over again, he'd say. In a separate interview, Stipe would tell the Sun newspaper, the guys would give me pieces of music that were so bubblegum that I'd be like, okay, I accept your challenge and I raise you. We're going to call this one Shiny Happy People. It was written to be as pop as it could possibly be, absurdly ridiculously pop. And in a different interview with The Telegraph, Stipe was a little more direct about the song saying, we were going for something like the banana splits or the monkeys. It was a hit, but none of us are particularly fond of it. It's a song primarily written for children, he'd remember. And the band members' distaste for the track meant that in 2003, when the band released their Greatest Hits album, they omitted the track despite it being one of the band's biggest hit songs. And the song also wasn't played a whole lot live. The most notable live performance was the band's 1991 appearance on Saturday Night Live, in which Karen Pearson joined the band on stage. In 2003, Stipe also claimed that actor Dennis Leary, who was a big fan of the band, approached him one night and said the following. Dennis Leary at the time was approaching me at dinner saying it was a shtick. He was a fan of the band and I completely understand that. I wouldn't say I'm embarrassed by the song, but it is what it is. It has limited appeal for me. I never badmouthed the song and I never tried to say anything bad about the songs that I don't particularly like because there might be somebody out there who hears it to whom the song means everything and to whom the song represents something in their life which is essential and I don't want to take that from them. A lot of longtime fans though of the band have expressed their distaste for the track with Brandon Kelly, the frontman of the Chicago punk band Lawrence Arms saying, when push comes to shove the main reason I hate that effing song is that it's so annoying on every single possible level. The lyrics irritate me, that effing jangly riff in the beginning, it makes me insane and the sad French circus breakdown is effing pompous. I think there's an intellectual reason to hate the song and there's a visceral reason to hate the song and I firmly hate it for both reasons. Even looking at the Amazon ratings for Out of Time, you'll find REM fans expressing their displeasure for the song with reviews noting, possibly the worst song in history says someone called REM fan, while another fan claimed really makes me want to punch someone, while another review claimed it's Michael Stipe's transparent attempt at a love anthem like the Beatles' All You Need Is Love, only stupid writes another fan. 
and in 1999, REM's members would make a memorable appearance on the children's show Sesame Street, in which they would transform shiny happy people into a new track called Furry Happy Monsters. So how do Stipe's bandmates feel about the song? Keyboardist Mike Mills would tell an interviewer, I love it. When I listen to it, which is rarely, I really enjoy it. And to write a non-tongue-in-cheek happy song is very hard. He'd go on to say, okay, I don't want it to be the song R.E.M. are remembered by in 100 years, but it should be recognized as one of our minor hits, though not our finest moment, he'd say. So let me know in the comment section, guys, what do you think of the song Shiny Happy People? Are you fans of it and are you guys fans of R.E.M.? And where does it rank in relation to some of the band's other hit songs? Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And if you have suggestions for future topics, let me know in the comment section below. Take care.